And we can speak to Jeremy in Jerusalem now. Israel's prime minister says this is the beginning of the end for Hamas. Jeremy, how plausible is that? Well, when all this started two months ago, he said there would be a great vengeance. And he's also been for two months, the Israelis have been hitting Gaza really, really hard. It may be the beginning of the end, but it certainly isn't the final destination. It might not even be halfway down the road. Now, why am I saying that? Well, first of all, Israel has not managed to get any of the top leaders of Hamas. They swore to eliminate them. Uh, it, Hamas is still functioning as a coherent military organization, as far as we can tell, with a chain of command in that they are fighting back hard against the Israelis. There's another factor. Israel set the bar for victory very high, completely annihilating Hamas, getting its leadership, and also eradicating it as a political organization. Now, the Americans vetoed the last attempt at the UN at the end of last week to get a ceasefire resolution. Uh, but there's been talk they might allow perhaps another month before they say, look, enough is enough. You've killed enough Palestinians already. And the Israelis by then may not have got to where they want to be. So what will happen then? There's another factor still, one last thing to think about, and that is that even if they say, OK, we've got what we want, what happens then? What happens on the day after? The Israelis haven't been clear about it. A long occupation, some kind of resistance or insurgency from Palestinians who don't want the Israelis there. There are many imponderables ahead. It will not be easy. It's going to be very messy and it might be lengthy.